everybody. It's Chad with nobody else's auto. We are back at one of the greatest places on earth, the Harold Wart Pioneer Village in Minden, Nebraska. Now, we were here last summer, and we brought you some footage of some of the updates happening here. Now, over the last several years, there's been a lot of areas that needed attention around this museum. It's been here since the 50s. They're making huge steps to really fix a lot of things up, getting some new roof replaced, getting some things painted. One area that needed some attention that's, that is an icon of this place was the diner. Now, we took you into the diner a little bit last summer when we were here. They were just getting started on it, and uh, huge strides have been made. Dick, you've been doing a lot of this work, and it's coming together amazingly. Well, thank you. This place looks great. Now, this is an original Valentine Diner, and for you guys that yep. aren't familiar with that, Valentine was a company out of Wichita, Kansas, who actually prefabbed these diners, and they would sell them to anybody. And you could buy them on a payment plan, and they were just small. Literally, they could put them on a truck, ship them to your location. And this one has been here since literally the 50s. 53. 53 is when they moved mm -hmm. this one in. Now, one iconic thing about the Valentine Diners, they all had this. They had this little box, and that's how you made your payments. It had your unit number on it, and you would put your payment in that box, and the Valentine Diner representative would come around and pick that payment up. So kind of an interesting rent to buy, lease to buy, your own Absolutely. business type thing in the 30s, 40s, and 50s <laughs> yeah. on these Valentine Diners. Now, you've got some cool stuff here that I want to share with everybody. Okay. We just saw the outside of the building, and this is this is an original ad, you see, correct? Correct, for, for, a Valentine for this Diner, model. For this model of Valentine Diner. Mm -hmm. Prosperity can be yours. Hey, sounds like a winner to me. So this was the aristocrat model sandwich shop that you could order prefabbed from the Valentine Industries Company in Wichita, Kansas. Yep. So neat piece there. What else you got here, Dick? Let's see, this ad across the nation, real profit opportunities. Hey, it shows them actually trucking one. Check this thing out. Literally shows Coming them in home. Trucking, trucking her down. <laughs> The different yeah. models. Yeah. So. And this, this one was in Kearney for about two years, and they used the name Aristocrat for it. Okay. Yeah. So this, this actual diner was originally purchased and put in service just 20 miles from here. Correct. So literally been here since probably since it left Wichita. Yes. This last piece is great. This big ad that you've got here. Well, this was incredibly valuable because it showed us what we showed were, you what to do, what yeah. we were missing. Yeah. So this um, is literally a layout, a big Valentine ad. Yeah. So, and we can see even the color schemes with the red countertops. Just, I mean, you're doing all this, right? <laughs> the um, well, this room was basically empty when we started. Uh, everything had been stripped out. So, um, out in the storage, some of the Quonsets that mm -hmm. you probably visited. Yep, we visited we found last year. The deck, and we found the old stools with oh, about no. four coats of paint on top <laughs> of them. And we found the under counters, but the the countertop was missing. So, but you found all this structure, the stools. And obviously, you've refinished the stools. Yep. Because they don't have four coats of paint on them, obviously, now. <laughs> They're, They're in nice and polished and shiny with new, with new material. Yep. And you've got the stool layout set here. Is that what you've been laying out? Yeah, there will be um, seven stools when we put it back together. We've added the passageway there that wouldn't be on the original. The original, the, the operators were just behind the counter and that was it. Okay. So so you're taking a stool out from this configuration. Yeah. One or two just stools, to so. make it a little more convenient. Okay. So and then so, we had to recreate the back counters. and To and, basically uh, match this layout with the sink. Yes. They don't have a malt mixer on theirs yet, but you've got that added already. Right. Least, so. Right. But anyway, there's a lot of amazing things happening here. And, you know, something else that's really exciting that if you like diners, you could lease this one. Yep. They're going to actually finish this and then lease it to an operator for the seat, for people that, for the visitors of the museum, as well as other guests that come through Minden, Nebraska. So yeah. if you want to operate a diner, might be something to think about. But something else that we just talked about, I seen this up there and you said that was original. Right. That was actually found up there behind some other stuff? It was turned around against the 
the background and had a couple other signs in front of it. <laughs> and uh, I was just cleaning one day and thought, oh, I'm going to see what's behind here. And here it was. So that's probably a 75 year old maybe. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody comes in and would like to order off. Yeah, I bet so. <laughs> Uh, ham, two eggs, and toast, 60 cents. That ain't a bad deal for breakfast. No, that's pretty good. So that's pretty neat that that is actually one that has been here. It yeah. was just hidden. Yeah. So that's super cool. This this thing is just coming together amazingly. Now, and what you're doing, obviously, you've got a new freezer here. It still has mm -hmm. the tags and the plastic on it. This thing is going to be completely modernized, but still retain that right. super awesome right. 40s, 50s era diner yeah. Yeah. motif, style, and look. We're in the process of making a new lid for the freezer so we can still have the flip up. I see. To completely retain that look and style. Yeah. 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 This is amazing the way this is coming together. There's going to be an awesome opportunity for somebody to lease this and I, run it. It should be great. Yeah. So let's check out some of the other stuff that you've got going on in here. Um, you got kind of a prep area back here. You're still doing a lot of work back here, but you got a lot of extra shelving and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. For as small as these facilities are, you do actually sure. have a little bit of room to work in here. A little bit, yes. <laughs> now, but, if we look out the front over here, we're looking right out the, on the main grounds of the museum. So obviously, all of the museum visitors would be able to come right up to the front here at the diner. Right. However, what if you just want to grab a burger for lunch? You guys got a plan for that too. We have a service window here, tables out there. We built the uh, deck so there'd be handicap okay, accessible. So, so this window here where we were just at is a window to serve out of to the right. front to the museum visitors if they don't want right. if they're not going to come in here and eat. Because sure. you got a beautiful day like today, you got picnic tables. Yep. You got a deck they can come up here and order. Yeah. Yeah. So, but if they don't want to come to the museum and they want to eat, you've got that covered too. Right. So let's go back here to the other side. Oh, you got brand new fridges in here even. So new fridge, new freezer. This and was a little storage lean-to that okay. we raised the floor, okay. raised the ceiling, you can see. Okay. And um, got it level so we could, you know, expand the prep area. Yeah, because this, this, this is an extension off of the original yeah. diner. Yeah. yeah, and we've added a window here so we can serve us to the outside of the fence. The general public of anybody that wants to stop and grab something, but right. they don't necessarily have time to stop at the museum. Yeah. yeah. And you've obviously got stoves and sinks and prep area back here. So yeah. this is coming together very nicely. Right. And of course, this was the original back of the diner. <laughs> that, that was all there was. That was it. Yep. Yeah, that was all you had. The restroom, you had to come outside, go back in. You, there wasn't even a door into the restroom from inside the diner. <laughs> nope. <laughs> So, and obviously you guys have this big, huge parking lot out there and a lot of renovations and changes going on yeah, out there. Yeah. Lots of events planned for this year, like there's a car show coming up mm -hmm. in August. And as this facility is used more and more, now that you've got this huge parking lot to work with, anybody that operates this diner is going to be able to serve out of this window sure. to those events as well. Right, right. So you guys are really thinking ahead and on this project. We're going to have some picnic tables outside. Out here. You've obviously yep. got a little deck built out here to mm -hmm. serve to and things like that. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, this is this is super cool. Dick, we, everybody appreciates all the work you've done here. I mean, we all know Pioneer Village is, a, is an amazing place. And Harold Warp's vision yep. lives on today, 70 plus years after he, he came up with the original concept. And guys like you are helping it live, live on. And that's what's so awesome. And anybody that is interested in leasing this diner, sure. I mean, get a hold of Will. They would love to talk to you. This is a really unique opportunity. If yeah. you enjoy doing that type of stuff, <laughs> you know, kind of a low scale deal. Not you don't have to go run a restaurant with fifty employees. You can right. kind of have your own little right. thing. The museum, obviously, with all the renovations and all the changes and the bright future that the museum has now, this is this could be an awesome little deal for somebody. I think it'd be a fun place to operate. It would be a blast to operate. Yeah. Where else can you literally take a step back in time <laughs> yeah. and run your own it's diner? 60 years, 70 yeah. years. But have all modern conveniences, yes. all recently renovated yeah. and, and ready to go. So mm -hmm. it's a unique opportunity. So if you're interested, be sure to get a hold of Will at Harold Wharf's Pioneer Village because it would be a neat little deal. Be maybe some of your retirement job or something. Who knows? Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, 
it, it would be a neat thing. And of course, in the summer with all the events planned, I got a feeling this place is going to stay pretty busy. I think so. That means you better get busy. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of work to do yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, Dick, thank you. Appreciate well, your time. Good. Appreciate your help with the Pioneer Village. Thanks for coming. And uh, and all the work you're doing here to help this facility live on for future future sure. generations. So, hope you enjoyed this one. We got a lot more cool stuff coming from Harold Ward's Pioneer Village. We got a lot of cool cars coming. A lot of stuff on the renovations. So much awesome stuff here. There's no way we can cover it all. We're going to do our best to share some of it yeah. with you. If you've not been here. Put it on your list. Minden, Nebraska, not exactly the most touristy place in the world, but one of the best collections in the world. You don't want to miss it. So put it on your list. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. We got a lot more cool stuff coming from here. We sure hope to see you soon on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.